Hi there, David Swain, Service Star Realty, here with another Property Manager Minute. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the how to rent your property online. So in today's society, we're pretty much an immediate gratification type of group and just about 90% of all people look online to find their rentals. It's not like the old days where you put something, an ad in the paper or Craigslist. Even online has been um, changing a bit. So things that used to work in the past don't work anymore. Backpage and Craigslist and uh, Postlets, those things are not nearly as effective as they used to be. So the new ones would be Zillow, Trulia, Hotpads, uh, there's uh, dozens of other sites that all are pushed out to one another. So it's, uh, it's, it's easy to be able to get out to lots of different ones, but the key, there's still important things with those that make a big difference. MLS is another part of the the equation and it kind of depends on on the type of client you're trying to att attract. Targeting your client is is also very, is, is very very important. So this uh, most of the times uh, an MLS is used for a property that is a higher dollar amount. So I can just throw a, a number out there. Let's say a fifteen hundred dollar amount. Uh, the people that are looking for rents above that uh, are very very busy and they don't necessarily have the time to go out and find those properties and. S -s -s see them in person, so on and so forth. So they can call a realtor and say, this is what I'm looking for, and those realtors will work with that particular customer to say $1,500, $2,000, $2,500 a month rentals. The ones that are below that, though, would miss out on that MLS. So if I had a property that was $1,000, $1,100, $1,200, now at that particular point, putting it in the MLS might not be the best of answers for us, whereas online would be a much more viable answer. So. Targeting your client is, is critical in regards to that. Whether you're doing something online with Zillow, Hotpad, Trulia, or you're doing things in the MLS, pictures are critical. You need to have great pictures in order to get that person interested in your property. You can get six or eight pictures depending on the medium, and those pictures need to tell a quick story and they need to be very crisp and good shots. Now, if pictures are good, video is even better. So video is is again one of the better ways to be able to market your property. Creating a, a YouTube video for your property is also very easy to do and then you can take that YouTube video and you can create geotagging and meta tagging in order to where your property will be picked up much easier on all these searches to where it'll be exposed to more people. So those things are easy to do. There's companies out there that'll do it for you for a small fee. Just give us a phone call and we'll try to walk you through any of those, those scenarios to where give you the best opportunity to, to where to place your property online. So hope this helps and again, we'll just a simple phone call and we'll walk you through it. Thanks for watching.